Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to study about Femi energy and derivation of Femi energy. So friends, what is Femi energy? It is the maximum energy possessed by free electrons at absolute temperature at 0 Kelvin. Consider this as a metal and we know that there will be different different energy levels in a metal and these are the electrons filled and this level this is the highest energy level occupied by electrons and the maximum energy possessed by these three electrons occupied at the highest energy level at absolute temperature is called as Femi energy and in other hand this level can be taken as reference level at which probability of finding the electron below this level is 100% and this level is called Fermi level and here if we want to find number of electrons per unit volume having energies in the range of E and E plus DE is given as N of E DE is equal to Rho of E DE into F of E where here Rho of E DE is called density of states and F of E is the Fermi factor. So if you want to find number of electrons per unit volume then you need to multiply this density of states into Fermi factor. And friends, I already explained about this fermions and this Fermi level and about this Fermi factor in my previous video. And you can watch my video by clicking the link in the description box. And here the expression for density of states is given as Rho of E D E is equal to 8 root 2 pi m raised to 3 by 2 divided by h cube and e raised to 1 by 2 into de and the expression for the Fermi factor is given as f of e is equal to 1 over 1 plus exponential e minus ef by kt where here e is the energy level and ef is the Fermi energy level and k is the Boltzmann's constant and t is the temperature. And here we already discussed that at absolute temperature at T is equal to 0 Kelvin, energy levels up to Fermi energy are filled and energy levels above this level is vacant. Therefore, in this case, if the energy level is below the Fermi energy level, which is E less than EF, then F of E, which is Fermi factor, is equal to 1. And now let's see how this F of E is equal to 1. Now let's see here. If the energy level is below the Fermi energy level, then F of E is equal to 1 over 1 plus exponential. Here energy level is below the Fermi energy level. It means E minus EF gives us negative value over KT. And here T is equal to 0 Kelvin. So KT will be 0 and it is equal to 1 over 1 plus E power negative infinity which is equal to 1 and it tells us the probability of finding an electron below Fermi energy level is 100%. Similarly, if the energy level is above the Fermi energy level, then F of E is equal to 0. Then it tells that the probability of finding an electron above the Fermi level is 0. And friends, this expression here gives us the number of electrons per unit volume in a particular range. And therefore, if we want to find the total number of electrons in the system, then we need to integrate this expression between the limits 0 and EF, where EF is the Fermi energy. Then we will get the total number of electrons in the system. We will denote this total number of electrons with the letter N, where N is equal to integration between the limits 0 and EF, 8 root 2 pi m raised to 3 by 2 by h cube and e raised to 1 by 2 into de into 1. Here f of e is equal to 1 as we discussed earlier. And in this case, we take out the common terms which are 8 root 2 pi m raised to 3 by 2 by h cube and we integrate only e raised to 1 by 2 between the limits 0 and ef into de. Now if we integrate this expression then we will be getting 2 by 3 EF power 3 by 2. Here E is replaced by EF because our upper limit is EF which is Fermi energy. Now here we only want Fermi energy expression. So we will keep this term here and we will send all the remaining terms to the other side. And we will have EF raised to 3 by 2 is equal to 3 h cube into n divided by 16 pi root 2 m raised to 3 by 2. And here we only want EF but it is EF raised to 3 by 2. 
then we will take it as 2 by 3. Then we will have EF is equal to 3H cube into N divided by 16 pi root 2 M raised to 3 by 2 whole power 2 by 3. Now if we simplify this term then we will be getting EF is equal to H square by 8M into 3 by pi over 2 by 3 into N over 2 by 3. So this is the expression for Fermi energy. And if we simplify these terms by substituting their values, then we will get EF is equal to 5.85 into 10 power minus 38 into N raised to 2 by 3 joules. So this is the simplified expression for the Fermi energy. So friends, this is the derivation of Fermi energy. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.